They met in 1932 on the set of No Man of Her Own, both married. Carol was strictly professional, so useless to say that there was no romantic connection between them then. The couple met again four years later, Carol was divorced and Clark separated, they were flirting and became inseparable shortly after. But they kept their relationship in secret until 1938, when Clark got finally divorced. They married, but had their fair share of dark times. Carol desperately wanted to be a mother, but found no solution for infertility issues. Also, there were allegations of infidelity on Clark's part. It was speculated that Clark's affair indirectly caused Carol's death. According to that theory, Carol was determined to save her marriage and chose a plane trip instead of a cross-country train trip. Before her death, Carol occasionally saw a psychic and was predicted to keep out of planes in 1942. Carol accompanied by her mother and Clark's press agent was on a journey in Indianapolis to support the war effort abroad. Both Carol's companions tried to talk her out of flying due to winter conditions, but didn't succeed. On January 16, 1942, they lost their lives en route to Los Angeles when their plane crash landed on Nevada's Potosi Mountain. Clark climbed the 7.800-foot steep peak to see the plane wreckage. His friend stated that Clark changed after the crash, he didn't care if he lived or died. When Clark died in 1960, he was buried beside Carol at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Glendale, California.